Hello and welcome to Cloud Perceptor channel. Today I'm going to explain you how you can mitigate DDoS attack in AWS. And uh, I'm going to show you five steps through which you can mitigate this kind of DDoS attacks. And uh, first of all, let's understand what is DDoS attack. So a distributed denial of service DDoS attack is a malicious attempt okay, to disrupt the normal traffic of the targeted server or service or network by overwhelming the target or its surrounding infrastructure with flood of internet traffic. So uh, basically there are certain bots which are controlled by hacker. And this, uh, there is, uh, this uh, group of bots okay, called botnet which is controlled by hacker. So th what this bots does is they send too many requests to targets IP address and you know they jam up the network so that the server gets gets overwhelmed and it is not able to you know response response to the user request so normal requests are stuck and uh, causes denial of uh, re response for me. okay so uh, these are the services uh, in AWS through which you can mitigate this DDoS attack one is CloudFront Next is Route 53, Amazon CloudWatch, um, AWS Web Application Firewall, AWS Shield, load balancers are there, and AWS Autoscale. So remember one thing, uh, AWS Shield standard is available free to all AWS customers. You can uh, get AWS Shield advanced by paying some extra cost. So this is how what EDOS attack work. Okay, this is a highway where you know there is an unexpected traffic jam. So hacker creates a lot many requests on your network, preventing your regular traffic to come and cause this clogging in the network. So it uh, your packets do not arrive at the destination. These are the five steps to mitigate DDoS attack in AWS. So first is minimize the attack surface area. So as you saw this, you know, these services help you to mitigate the, uh, minimize this uh, service area, okay, like spread of service area. And uh, next is make sure your application is ready to scale to absorb the attack. So you should make sure that your auto scaling is configured and, you know, load balancers are there. So if hacker is sending too many requests, your application can absorb. I mean, your infrastructure can absorb, okay. And safeguard all exposed resources. So you can safeguard your all exposed resources using uh, the shield and web application firewall. Learn a normal and abnormal behavior. So you should not learn all this both kind of behavior, normal and abnormal. You also need to plan for artificial attacks. So create a plan for that and you know, do it on a regular basis. To learn about abnormality of abnormal behavior of your application. So that's it for uh, DDoS attack in AWS. This is how you can mitigate it using these services. And I shown you all the five steps to which you know you can mitigate it. So thanks for watching this video. Do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you again. Bye bye.